Good morning. I'm Desiree Dubois, founder of An Empowered Woman and Homework. And Homework is where you can live where you work, work where you live anywhere in the world. And every Wednesday morning, we have coffee and conversation. We spotlight different people with different businesses, different industries, and different expertise that they want to share with us and our community. Um, today, I'm excited because of the fact that um, Steve Raglan is part of my dream team. He and Erica um, are Erica's the makeup artist, and Steve is the photographer. They are responsible for all the beautiful photo, photos that you've seen um, from our magazines and from different places. So he's a photographer from Detroit. Um, he has a great background. I'm going to let him share that with you. And let's get started. Good morning, Steve. How are you doing today? Good morning, Desiree. How are you today? I'm great. You know, I know I don't do your introduction justice, so I'm going to leave oh. that up to you. Okay, Tell well, let, I'll, <laughs> give it, I'll give it my best shot here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steve Raglan. I'm a commercial fashion beauty photographer, originally from New York City, and then I moved to Detroit. However, my, my passion is helping people to discover the beauty within by taking the photo on the outside and we discover what's happening on the inside and just bringing that out. And I have very different ways of helping, um, if I'm saying the words right, helping people find that between styling, hair, makeup, and then the actual mood to create your personal image. I've been doing this for, since I was 16. I am 55 years old. Um, and this has just been everything to me. Every morning I wake up, it's the new joy. It's, the, it's a different day. Some days we cry, some days we, lot of, hopefully all the days we smile, but you know, it's, it's work. People think it's just, oh, we look at beautiful people all day, but it comes with, you know, really, really willing to help people to get to those, that outer shell beauty. Um, and I just, I love it. So whatever, any questions you have throughout this conversation, um, I'd be more than happy to answer each and everyone's questions. Um, I've worked for many magazines, uh, transformational images like makeovers and things like that for, for men and women. Um, and I photograph about everything that uh, people relate it, people relate it. So I'm hoping I'm doing this justice. I do have a website, it's steveraglin.com, and I don't get on camera very often, off, <laughs> often I'm on the other side of this. So <laughs> I'll have to drink a lot of water to get through this. Um, but this will be a lot of fun to do. So thank so you for inviting me. Good. You're so welcome, but you're not doing yourself justice. Name some <laughs> of the magazines that you and Erica work for, because I'm impressed. I'm modeling agencies, you know, even though some of us may be too young to remember, but I remember those names. So share that with us. Okay. Well, Erica and I, Erica's my makeup artist from New York. We met in New York and we've worked together for very many magazines and modeling agencies. We work for Elite, Ford, all the top 10 agencies in New York where we were able to, we called it testing and help models build. And some of the models became actually supermodels. I have uh, several pictures of uh, Giselle Bündchen. Um, let's see, several really top models I have pictures of, but that's one that I know right away uh, from, from my past. We've worked, I've worked for Vogue magazine, printed work in Vogue magazine, different ads. I've worked for Fitness magazine, um, Ladies Home Journal, which is a very old one. Um, God, now this is really complicated. Um, <laughs> well, you're going back a few years, so we're actually, right. you know, pulling your brain back. But well, yeah. we've I've done a couple of pr uh, projects with Desiree here, um, Luxury Magazine, Dreams Magazine, Luxury Lifestyle Magazine here, um, and then several magazines in Michigan. Um, done lots of catalog work. Um, let's see. Wow. Just Lots. so many, Lots. just so, just so many to think about. Doing. And you know, I think that's really impressive because of the fact that it's not a hobby. It's not something that's not your side hustle, you know, which makes a difference on anyone that we're engaging to do work with. You know, a lot of people say, well, I love photography. So I'm going to go now and take some pictures and, you know, charge you a lot of money for that. Um, or some people say it's my side hustle, but I really am a mechanic or doing something else during the day that's totally not related. This is your life. It has, this has been your life for how many years is that? 16? My, my last corporate job that I worked for a company, I was 23 years old. So let's say 30, 32 years. And I've done it um, animation photography before that. So this has been the, the entire life, every day, wake up for years and years the same way, you know, like repeating with different people. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but you know, that, but that's, but that's what makes it so amazing because each day, you know, when you shoot someone different, it's a different palette. It's a different location. It's a different subject. It's a different background. It's a different personality. And I think what's really important that you said as, as really valuable is that you make the person, how you make the person feel, because I'm almost embarrassed to say that I used to be a model for years. And then it was years that I stayed away from the camera, like literally like 10 or 12 years. I didn't take any photographs at all. I just didn't like the way that I looked and anymore. And um, you, and I was, I remember that you actually met me in the parking lot of Target <laughs> and, and you know, kept saying that it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And I'm thinking like, you know, I've done many shoots and I'm not ready for it. And we talked to Erica and she made me comfortable and then that day the day that we did it we recorded it and it was like one of the best days of my life because of what the results were we don't right. see each other we're just so busy looking at you know this and this and this and this and this that you know we don't see the beauty and that's why I think that for no other reason we'll go through the reasons why you should have professional photography done but for no other reason it's the best and in, in um uh, instant gratification a woman can have. You know, it's the best to be able to see yourself look like the people that you admire all the time on television or on camera or whatever, like, oh, she's so this and she's that because you bring that out in it. So I've done different sessions. Some people just tell you to pose and they shoot. You, there's something that you do and the way that you do the lighting, the way that you improvised on the set. I don't know, you were taking this and that and all of a sudden I look up and you got this kind of contraption that you've made with the light shadow like so it's not like that someone just takes the light and sticks it there and there what you worked with it you created some things and I was like what are you doing and it was like things that you put together you know piece right. things that you created because you saw the vision and you saw a mood you saw a light you saw an ambient you saw something that you needed to create something out of the box to be able to highlight the essence of that moment you know, and to be able to keep people get comfortable and relaxed and to feel sensuous and feel sexy and feel beautiful, you know, and besides the fact of Erica just prepping you prior to, that's huge. And I don't know how I can emphasize, you know, that experience. I don't know how I can emphasize or communicate that feeling that it is when I look at my photographs and, you know, for the years, I keep asking, can you send me my pictures again? Can you send me my pictures again? It's, that, it's that feel good because we all have those days. I mean, let's be honest, you know, you don't need to look at something like, yeah, you know, you still look at it. You make, I've seen with women that, you know, all the way to, um, the, what's the young lady that you did that was the 70, 80 years old, you did her book cover. Um, you know, oh, she's Dr. Past. Dr. Oh, yeah. I can't remember anybody. Yeah. 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 So it's like 50, 70, 80 years old. Yeah. I mean, like yeah. A glamour queen. Amazing. Amazing. And, and without makeup, without heavy makeup, we're not saying that we're going to do all this fancy makeup on you because I look as, you know, very pretty natural. But you just made her, you know, at that, no matter what age, you made her look glamorous and beautiful. You could tell she felt that way because it came right. through in the photographs. Right. Well, so. one thing I'd like to say, um, if I interrupt, um, good pictures are taken, great pictures are made, okay? So when you're getting pampered by the makeup artist, that's a part of making that great picture happen. Um, the good picture is just the basic. Anyone can take a good picture of themselves. Um, what, I, what I invite people to do is to look at pictures that they've taken over the years. And just say, maybe you took a picture uh, last year, six months, eight months, you know, whatever in timeline, but look at what your best angle, what you liked about the picture. Oftentimes we criticize ourselves. We say, well, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this, but find the good in the picture that you did take. And now from that point, this is where you take the, the steps to prepare your own personal angles. Say, I like that part of me. I like, this is my favorite part. This is my angle because right now this is my best angle. Um, <laughs> so I'll walk around all day like this. Um, but, you know, just finding your, your best angle and just describing that to me. I'll be able to see every angle possible. I'm in a quick study of, you know, what's what we see. Maybe we have something under the eyes we don't like. Maybe we don't like our chin. Maybe we don't like just our broadness of shoulders. I'll be able to identify that right away because of the experience that I have. But what like learning the one thing that you love about yourself and finding that is just an angle, maybe in a past picture, but learning that really helps. So that helps the makeup artist know what you like with your, your, your face, what you like within your hair. Um, 
oftentimes people come, they may have these amazing pictures, but they never show them. So if you bring just like four pictures of yourself that may be good or bad, whatever, but they don't show those pictures. So in my mind, I don't know, I have to learn you. And this, when you have the pictures, it's a quicker study to say, okay, I can do better. I can do better. I can do better. And I can make it your best picture yet. And that's something that I know people cherish for years to come. Even when I take a good picture of myself, because I do all these selfies with a professional camera, remote controls, I'm like, wow, that looked really good. So I keep repeating <laughs> that year after year, angle after angle. And people go, oh, yeah, you look really good in pictures. I'm like, yeah, I know. Because I know, <laughs> I know the life. <laughs> I know the life. So uh, just find just a little, like, what you like. In terms of making that a picture great, find your styling. Women shop and they love clothes and they just find those maybe five outfits that really resonate with you. It might be your color blue. It might be, um, it might be just the texture of the fabric. It might be a, like a, a nice heavy sweater. Find the outfits that really fit your personality. And then we can grow from there with those outfits that you have. So those are my quick tips. If there's more to say, please ask the questions and I'll do my best to answer those. Well, there is more. Um, <laughs> um, one of the things is, is that you mentioned to bring the extra outfits because there are certain outfits and we all have outfits that make us feel differently. Some mm -hmm. outfits we wear that makes us feel fun or feel flighty or flirty or sexy or just glamorous or rich or whatever it is like that. So that does have a lot to do with it. So you, you allow us to bring in an assortment of it. And then we actually look at it and look at the colors, look at the backgrounds. We have beautiful backgrounds. So we had, you know, did a couple, couple in, a couple of houses. We did the one in Malibu. We did different locations. We have this one here in San Diego. Beautiful background backdrop. So, you know, being able to match the colors with the, you know, with the, uh, the background and making sure you don't have things uh, too much that's distracting for you, like things that are too many prints or earrings or jewelry that's just taken over. That's you see the jewelry first before they actually see you. So you are able to bring all of that, and after you would advise them on what would be best and what would not be best. And then Erica also takes part of that as well. So she looks at the outfit, she looks at the color of your skin, the color of your hair, and she's able to give you consultation on which is gonna look good on camera. This is gonna look best on you on camera. And I think you also touched on the environment. You know, we have, you know, we have music, we have champagne, we have food, we make it a fun environment. So you are playing, you know, it's like a play date, you know, and I think we're all due <laughs> for a play date uh, right about now. We have been so, you know, locked in. Um, put, so you feel like you're playing and you're playing and it's a, that whole thing, that whole environment, that whole team brings out an energy in you that maybe you wouldn't have even if it's just on one-on-one -on -one, or when you're trying to do a selfie or you're trying to do it yourself between you and your partner, your friend, it's not the same energy. And we all know the difference when you go into a live energy, fun, supportive environment as opposed to when you're just doing something alone. You know, so we're talking about the event, we're talking about the clothes, the makeup, the lighting mm -hmm. you do and the styling, but also some of the people don't realize, I want to touch on why it's so important um, and all the different uses that you can use it for. So when you have professional photos, we know the difference. We see people with professional photos and selfies. What impression does that give you, give you, know, you of them? If they got professional photos, it gives you immediately, it's immediate okay, they're professional, they're serious, they're you know, something to be acknowledged. Um, so just across your branding, across your website, across, you know, you need headshots, you need pictures everywhere right now, you know, and if you've got podcasts, you need some photos for your podcast labels. If you have a book that you may come or come, um, you know, create, you need a book cover, you need it for if you're ever going to speak and be speakers, you're going to need it. Every time I speak someplace that they want your bio, or your photo, they want some information on you. If you're going to have any product, like, you know, young lady has products and classes that you're going to teach, you need a photograph somewhere. If it's not on the cover, you need your photograph there. If you're going to, on your social media, you need photos and you don't get use the exact same one all the time. Um, you also need them on your dating, the dating sites. I mean, if that's one of the biggest complaints, <laughs> you're smiling. Because <laughs> you know that. <laughs> yeah, keep, I'm interrupting with those thoughts. Yeah, I mean, I mean, every, I mean, people constantly say the, the concern is about the, like, their pictures, you know. So put out recent pictures. I mean, like they, to me, that's the funniest thing because I don't know why people put pictures when they're years 
and they know they're going to show up eventually looking differently. So, so, but there's so many different uses for it besides the fact that it should be in your home. I think everyone that in our homes, we should have a beautiful photograph of us to memorialize these moments, you know, that we, we are, because we are, today is one of our best days of our lives. And so we should have that memorialized in the photographs. So what are some of the other uses? <laughs> well, so many other uses that one other use that I've started doing, I, um, I was working with um, one agent from New York Life and uh, we created New York Life has these videos that they promote for the comp that they do for the company as well. And it might be their one minute pitch on, uh, on for, for Instagram or social media, the one minute pitch of what their services offer and why you should uh, be part of that work with that agent. So for all the professional ladies um, within this coffee meeting, that's something that really promotes really well is just a simple 30 seconds of words of what you do. And perhaps at that same time, we may be able to record because I bring um, several different cameras to record those, those bits and pieces. That might be something that's useful over time. So I, I believe that um, the New York Life promotion that I did was very well for the agents. So I would think about, you know, think mm -hmm. about something like that. There's many uses besides mm -hmm. just your own personal joy. That's the best part because you'll look at, look back at those pictures, images of yourself, and it'll make you smile. I guarantee it. Cause I look at <laughs> pictures like, whoa. Um, <laughs> I, in fact, I have, your, <laughs> I have your book, Desiree. I have a book of you right here. Um, you want to show it? Can you, can you yeah. grab it? Okay. Let me, I think it's right okay, here. Sure. On. While well, you do that. So another thing too is that like a lot of us are members of different organizations and members of different things. And they mean the at times you want a picture there on your profiles or the members. I mean, so there's so many different things that you want something for. And then we're going to talk about how recent they should be done. Oh my goodness. Yes, I have your book. It's, it's, getting, it's actually, about the rain on this side of town. Well, it's raining, but it's, well, the sun is here now, but it's raining this morning. Yeah. It's not but raining on that book. It's not raining on the book. So this is Desiree's <laughs> presentation. And it's a simple um, silk binding. Let's un unleash that binding. And so here we have, I don't know if, can you see that? Yeah, we can see it perfectly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first page is quite the Desiree. Um, there, I don't see it. Awesome. Right? And this has a lot of reflection, so there. No, that? You see, I mean, that doesn't look like me. That's a 62 year old woman. And it, it was amazing. Not, and this was, makeup. this was not light. This was like, not, it's just the lighting that you did. It's light. So there's Desiree going up the stairs. And my designer designed this particular book. I need that book. <laughs> yes. So Erica added, um, you see, Desiree's Erica's got long hair here. There's Desiree, look, you look the same right there. As today. I love the one with the hand on the arm. That's just so classy. Well, yeah. thank you. Thank you, Rosalind. Yeah. But he makes you feel like, you know, I'm sitting on a step, you know, there. You like, that one? Feel, and we were touching on a little sexy, but not so sexy that it was like, you know, a, you know I felt vulgar and you know, that, but he just brings that, you know, that fun, that spice. You know, and so she did do the hair extensions. We had, um, yeah. and she did, had never seen me. She just knew exactly what to do and how to do it and how to add them. This is one. And this is doing. even another, an, another is... hair extensions that she did. <laughs> Sorry, I'm moving around too much. You can't see. Can you not see that? Yeah, we can see it. It's a okay. move to the next, the next page. We see that one page. There you go. Okay, here you go. I'm trying to keep the reflections down. That's good. That's fine. So, can you imagine having that for you to have, ladies, just to look back on? I mean, we all have those moments, and just being able to capture them, I think, is really amazing. Valentine's Day, sporty. Yeah, that was a different wig. It was a different hair. I think that was my wig that we used then. And so we do this yeah. and we do the sessions in enough time where you're relaxed. That was just on a little basketball court. But what the most important thing is that I think if you can feel my energy, you can feel the smile, the happiness. It wasn't, you know, you, you feel so good in that environment. This is a piano behind me and I'm 
Okay, so four. I think this is it. Yeah. That's we it. can't we can't see the pictures. We can didn't see them. I can yeah. see them. Can we see them? Well, I can see them. Because ladies, can you see them, Francis? No, we can't see them. Yeah, Francis really? can see them. I Karen, can you see, see them? them? No. You don't what see happens picture, is huh? when you're talking, Desiree, it goes to you. Oh, OK. So yeah. Then it makes him well, bigger. Yes, yes. So you can gallery view. You can gallery view. And then yeah. see. If, you, if you pin his post I or did, he, pin him, I did. No. Yeah. If you, sorry, let me finish. If each individual pins him, then you will see him only and not Desiree. So How each you individual, pin? you go on the corner of his um, video and there's three dots and you press the three dots and you press pin and then he will be spotlighted. Desiree can spotlight him and then he will be spotlighted for all. Or she can okay. spotlight herself and and him, and then you'll see two two screens. Okay, now so you start from the beginning it. again, Steve. Then, and I won't say anything either. We'll start from the beginning. Thank you. It's a nice book. Mm -hmm. Has a nice, well, silky cover. You know, it was tied in the beginning, and we'll start from the beginning. It's getting dark in here. Cute. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Why do I see Marsha's name? Marsha's name? Yes. Yes, maybe she's a guest. She's, she's not on the video. She's not what she's doing. We're recording this. So, um, Steve, go through this and then we'll open it up. We'll stop recording and open up for a conversation. It's back on you. Oh, maybe if I talk there. Right. One of my favorites. Very fun. And I think this is the very last one. And that's it. Awesome. So again, like you said, it's just something for you to have. And believe me, it was the hair, the makeup, the photography, and all that combination that made the difference. So when another thing that uh, in, in our email, just interesting statistics were the different percentages of conversion rates when people see your photograph, they know like it, it, it adds a no like and trust factor for you. So immediately it starts converting as whether you have a website, whether you have an email, um, when you send out emails and have your signature, have a photograph in your signature, reminds people who you are. You know, I have a photograph of mine and a lot of people do because sometimes that way like realtors used to walk around with their business cards and their pictures on it. It does make a difference. People say, oh yeah, that's that person or that's that girl, or that's that guy. So the recognition, it warms people up. It's a difference of getting something and not knowing who this person is or trying to remember who this person is as opposed to saying, okay, yes, this is a person. They look professional. They look friendly. They're smiling. And it's not like a forced smile. It's just a really fun you know, it looks, it looks like a person that you'd want to in, interact with. And so now you should think about people that you interact with and how important it is to be able to see who it is, and especially now more so than uh, other times, because sometimes it's not only our first impression, but it's our only impression. People, even when people have um, on Zoom and they have their photograph, uh, that they, they don't, ha they're not live. These photographs they see is you want them to be a favorable, beautiful photograph as opposed to just having your name there. So between the Zooms, between everything else that you do, having that. 
So the reasons why you want to have a picture are going to be talked about is for business, but also for your personal. Um, what we do when you're doing it together is that we, yeah, we're looking for small group, only six people that we'll be working with. Um, we do it in two days, three people per day. And we do a morning session. So you have a whole morning to get glammed up and that, you know, you can bring your favorite music. I have, you know, you just pack in your music, your favorite songs. So you're in the mood um, or eat and drink. And then Steve will work with you in the photograph. Then we have another session in the afternoon and then another session in the late afternoon. So it's total just you, makeup artist, myself and Steve. Um, the makeup artist, Erica, she's double masked. She has a face shield because she's the one that's closest to you. Um, she wears gloves and she creates a individual makeup palette for each person. So usually when you do makeup, they'll take the brushes, they'll clean, cleanse the brushes or hide, you know, uh, sterilize the brushes. There's a special kit for each person. So no one else will use any of the makeup or anything that you need. Um, it'll all be yours and you get to take it home with you. So every brush, every eye you know, eyeshadow, every lipstick, which you're going to ask you to bring your own, um, but you also will have it. Everything will be specific for you. So you're totally protected in that way. And we were exercising all the different, you know, um, COVID precautions as far as temperature, as far as, you know, tracing. So we're as concerned about that as you would be concerned about us. So that's why we waited until this point. But we figured if we have that distance and we've had everyone's, you know, prepared, we're able to do that and you'll be feel comfortable and feel fun. Uh, the other thing is that, you know, again, having your wardrobe, having, you'll get three uh, different, at least three different shots, correct? You know, and like what Steve mm -hmm. said, you need me a video. So say, for example, you want a video, a promo video real quickly, a short promo video for your websites, for your introductions, whatever it is for your, your videos that you're doing, having something that you've actually done professional is good um, and having it done in that outfit in that environment that you want to be able to work with you also will one of the bigger things is that in our let's talk success magazine we will be doing a feature page on the ladies so you'll have a full feature page like steve mentioned we did it before for la dreams magazine and luxury magazines but now that's a great visibility that's a great opportunity for you to be in a magazine to either take it and share you know um for your promotions your pr or you can get it printed and download it and frame it you know people again have in their offices you see them pictures with the magic with so you will give us a, a, a editorial and we'll add it to your page. And that magazine, obviously, as you know, is distributed to all of our community, plus, 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 plus. So it's great distribution. It's a great opportunity to promote your business. And that's huge, being able to take something that's digital and be able to talk about your business. It's done as an interview style. So it's not a promo. It's not an ad. It's done as if we will be highlighting these ladies that you'll be able to do. The um, covered hair and makeup wardrobe, what you will get from that is I think six finished looks, you know, as far as pictures, as far as that he retouches and make sure that they're absolutely positively perfect. Uh, but it doesn't do a lot of retouching because a lot of the work is done, you know, a lot of the hair, the makeup and wardrobe and the lighting is so done so well. There's very little that needs to be done, but he'll do that. You can also order if you want prints of any photography, or if you want a book, you know, then that's extra as well. So you can order a book. This is something that's a great get birthday present to yourself. It's a great present to your husbands or your partners or to just, this is great thing. It's a great thing to have, um, to be able to look back years from now and say, wow, you know, I remember when. Um, so there's a lot of great advantages and you know, advantages to it. The investment is $1,800 and we have a three pay if you wanna do that, or you get a $200 discount if you pay $1,600 in full. And that can be by credit card or PayPal or whatever you wanna do that. But you figure if you were to hire a makeup artist, if you were to hire, get a location, if you were to get a stylist or get, and then hire a photographer, if you were to get prints done or get, you know, images, you get all the digital images, so you can use them for easy use for anywhere. If you were to get them touched up, if you were to get or buy an ad in a magazine or something like that time, it would be a lot more than that. And you wouldn't have the expertise. You can do that with something to have someone who's looked at, I can imagine how many hundreds, if not thousands of women you've photographed <laughs> over the years <sighs> and you've been doing it for all these years. And it's like, you know, having someone with that expertise. Yes, there's people out there that grab a camera and the thing like it looks good, but I know the difference, you know the difference. Um, and so, uh, Steve, what other thoughts? What, have, what did I forget? What did I... Um well, just preparation, um, one of the most important things is to get rest before the shoot. 
um, cause we all get nervous and like, um, what we, what we tend to do is overthink it. So if you give yourself plenty of time to just put the outfits together, you know, you know, pack them in your bag and just have a good understanding of what feels good to you. We're experts at knowing what looks good on the camera and taking those pieces and mi mixing and matching them to make it really pop out in the photograph. So early preparation is good, just laying out your outfits in advance. So that's the last thing that you don't um, double or second, second guess yourself. Um, rest, rest is when we start off in a photo session, if we're doing three changes, the, verse, the first change you will go through three different feelings. It first will be nervous and excited. And then you'll be, the next, the next, the next feeling you have will be just excited. And the next, the next picture, the last picture is what, what I like to say is put on your, your glam outfit, the outfit that makes you feel the way you imagine yourself feeling in a photo session. Because at that point you're actually tired, but that tired look is, it's kind of sensual, sexy, it's, 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 it's very strong. So you go through nervous and excited, excited, and then sexy. So we bring out that part if that's what you're looking for. But the, the beginning person who gets in front of a camera like me is like, I'm so excited. But towards the end, you're just like, wow, I'm good. And towards the, the, the very end, it's like, wow, I just wanna be relaxed. Feed me, a, feed me, give me a glass of wine. So those are the three energies that I've noticed people go through in the three um, session change. It'll probably take a couple of hours to get there, but we'll get there and it'll just be amazing. It'll be fun. So preparation, I think is the best thing. Yes, and hy hydrated people, hydrated. I guess that helps us as well. Yeah. Okay, so anything else we should share? I think I shared about the location, the hair, the makeup, the wardrobe, the why, the when, the when, the when, the when. When we're doing it, we're doing it on the 26th, which is a Friday, and the 27th of this month. So we, because we have only six spaces, I think we have about two, uh, two are retaken or reserved. Then we need, if you're something you want to do, we need to communicate with us and say you want to do it. And we'll definitely reserve your space from that point on. So it's a weekday or a Saturday. So you have a choice of those who have that flexibility. Um, and I think that I've covered everything. So let's stop recording. And then I'm going to ask the ladies to open up for the conversation. Okay. I got to move some things around here. And so thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us. And until we meet again, live where you work, work where you live, anywhere in the world. And that's homework. <laughs>